I found the cheapest multimeter on AliExpress and it starts from 1 US dollars to 5 US dollars maximum and it comes in black and red color okay and the model is Aneng CZ308 digital multimeter AC DC current meter voltage resistance meter electrician LCD and to mention one more time the price depends on where you are living starts from 1 US dollar to 5 US dollars the link will be in description below so you can check I order a red one and of course I got it oh, no bubbles and here it is the guy the package is a little bit bitten but never mind Let's open it. Okay. We have the chip probes, the multimeter itself, and the instruction manual. Nothing more. You don't need to expect more for so low price. These are chip probes that will work fine, I think. Okay, and let's see the the multimeter. In description it says that it works on 9 volt battery. I'm gonna place the battery and test it. But before that, what it says in description the model is SZ308 and can measure AC voltage from 0 to 750 volts with plus minus 1% precision. DC voltage from 200 millivolts to 1000 volts, DC current from 2 milliampers to 10 amperes. We, I need to check that. Resistance 2000 kilo ohms maximum. It can measure transistors, diode, buzzer. What is this square wave? I don't know. And low battery indication. Really nice. As I said, it works on 9 volt battery. I place the battery and let's turn on. Nice, but it doesn't have the backlight. Alright, so we have a voltage, DC voltage measurement on this side, where is the white marks. On this side, we have AC voltage. We have a resistance on these yellow marks. This is the beeping signal. And you can measure also uh, DC amperes from 2 milliampers to 10 amperes. For milliampers the probe need to be right here. For 10 amperes you need to go on DC amperes, on this connector. Okay, let's measure something and compare to my other multimeters. So here it is. From my power supply I'm sending 2.25 volts and on this multimeter the reading is 5.25 volts which is nice. And all of them are connected to the same power supply and this model Aneng 613 the readout is 5.26 volts and also on this Aneng M107 is 5.26 volts. So it's pretty similar to all multimeters and I can't believe it that so cheap multimeter can measure voltage accurate nice let's change the voltage to a little bit higher I'm gonna go to let's say 12.44 volts and on this one it says 12.43, 12.45 and 12.47. Good. I love it so far. The plastic is cheap. I can feel it. But it's working fine. Next testing. 
I forgot to tell you that this multimeter, cheap multimeter, doesn't have a, a holder like this one. So you need to figure out a way. By the way, all the links for the all multimeters will be in description below for, for all three models. Okay, now I will test the amperes, DC amperes measurement and the probe is relocated on this connector. I'm sending 12 volts and on the multimeter it shows 1.88 amperes and on my power supply it says 1.79. It's close, it's close. All right. Let's go below a little bit to one, maybe 1.5. I'm gonna set it. One point five amperes, and on the multimeter it shows one point five eight. All right. Now I'm gonna try the continuity test, and also is for diode. You can see zero zero zero. That is good, but is it fast? No. There is little delay, but it's working for. Okay, okay, okay. Let's test the diode. This is a Schottky diode. I will go right here. Nope, other way. Yes. It's working fine. Beautiful. The diode tester works too. Also you can check LEDs but nothing shown on the multimeter. Alright and let's check the resistor. This one is 100 kilo ohms but will show 97, 98 almost kilo ohms. Beautiful. Let's try the AC voltage directly to my AC grid. 240 volts AC voltage. Okay. Let's try it the milliampers. This is 20 milliampers. And I'm gonna measure the LED diode. On the multimeter it shows 4.45. 4.5 milliampers and it's the same as the power supply. Okay. It's an old school multimeter. When I was uh, young, I have a sim similar multimeter, but I burn out because it doesn't have uh, any kind of protection. And if you do some kind of experiments, you need to use this kind of multimeter. And if you burn out, you will not lose very much money okay okay that was all for today video please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya oh i forgot to measure the dimensions of the multimeter it's 12.4 centimeters by 6.6 6 centimeters and the height is almost three centimeters. Beautiful.